I'm Allison Barber with the Washington Free Beacon. Tonight, President Obama will appear before Organizing for Action, a new outside money group aimed at picking up where the Obama re-election campaign left off. The President will speak at the so-called Founder Summit to a group of campaign donors and activists in a Washington, D.C. hotel. You may hear the name OFA and immediately think of presidential elections, and you wouldn't be wrong. In 2008, OFA stood for Obama for America. Since 2009, it's been known as Organizing for America. It was the major driving force behind Obama's re-election campaign. Today, OFA stands for Organizing for Action. The new OFA is a 501c4, which allows it to accept unlimited donations, unlike the DNC. There's been a lot of discrepancy in terms of what role the new organization will play. We know that OFA still runs the Twitter and Facebook accounts of both the President and the First Lady, as well as the website BarackObama.com. OFA insists that they're nonpartisan and says that they're an issue advocacy group, not an electoral one, but not everyone agrees. A lot of people have expressed frustration at the group's existence, noting that it seems to be the very pay-to-play politics President Obama promised to disband. Contributors who donate or raise $500,000 are reportedly allowed to have quarterly meetings with the president, which has led critics to point out that this is essentially auctioning off access to the president of the United States. Tonight's donors paid $50,000 to attend the meeting. You can learn more about this at freebeacon.com where we have a new infograph that will walk you through all of the information. I'm Ellison Barber. Thanks for watching.